We should have known. I'm aware of who you are and that you used to serve the former Governor General. So I'll skip the prelude. You're under arrest on suspicion of leading an over three month occupation of the city, effectively detaining its citizens. Your arrest comes at the behest of the Provisional Government of Erebonia. Please, we ask that you do not resist. Never, you lowly police dog! We'll never be stopped by the likes of you! Whatever it takes, we will reignite the war. And when we do, the Republic will be the first to fall to our feet! And then the whole continent will follow! That's right. It's the only way His Excellency's legacy can live on and Erebonia's pride be restored! Why are you so desperate for more war? They're behaving like the Twilight is ongoing, but it's long been over. Yeah, the source of it is gone, and the curse that drove people toward war should have gone with it. it must be that some of those it drove to the brink feel like there's no turning back. But you must have realized by now, right? Your plan can't possibly succeed. What? What makes you say that? What doesn't? Anyone would say that. After occupying Crossbell for a quarter of a year, doggedly trying to rile the population into a new war. Who's risen in support of your efforts? No one. I'm sure with a little more time. The way most see it, you're just being sore losers who refuse to get with the program. The people's hearts won't be moved by you strutting around like you own the place. And neither will Imperial policy. If we don't end this now, it'll only be a matter of time before Calvert grows tired of you acting out and ends this with force. And with no one here supporting your cause, how well do you think you'll do against them? The war is over, and I'm sure deep down, you've known that all along. So why are you still... Uh, do you expect us to throw away our pride and give up? The Empire staked everything on that war. Our pride, our lives, our future. And then after less than a day, the Chancellor is killed, the Governor General is arrested, and the entire thing is called off? And to add insult to injury, we were forced to pay reparations to the Republic? How could we accept that? We did everything our country asked of us. However cruel, however immoral, and for what? Not for pride, but for humiliation beyond measure. They let the curse take root, and now it's led them too far astray. They're trapped between a reality they can't accept, and a failed dream they can't return to. <sighs> I can't pretend not to understand how you feel. Everyone in Crossbell can understand. Greater powers have squabbled over us like children do with toys. Reduce our lives to a series of hardships, taken what we treasure, trampled on our pride. But will your goals here restore your pride? I'm telling you, it won't. Betraying the good people of Zamuria through these horrific acts of terrorism will never bring you salvation. If by some miracle you succeed, will you honestly truly ever be able to hold your heads high knowing what it took? Is that all the pride you're fighting for amounts to? Of course not! <laughs> I refuse to be lectured on pride by a cross felon. He's not lecturing you. He's telling you where you'll go because it's where we've been. We know what it's like to face an impossible choice. We could have saved Crossbell from ever having to endure another day of hardship. All it would have taken was a single, very personal price. But we turned down that once-in-a-lifetime chance. It's what he said. If by some miracle we succeeded, could we have held our heads high? Could our loved ones on our behalf? Even if the end result was what we were hoping for, 
The cost to achieve it would have brought us nothing but shame. <laughs> we signed up for a couple of rough years instead, and we couldn't be prouder for it. We didn't want just us to hold our heads up high. We wanted our little daughter to hold hers up high too. So if we can make that choice, so can all of you. My time in the Empire showed me something. That you're every bit as capable as we are of facing hardship if it means a better tomorrow. Look, if all we've said now isn't enough to sway you, we can always do this the hard way. We're not just doing this for us. We want everyone who was hurt by the war to move on. And that includes all of you. You really want to help us? <laughs> just how naive can you children be? It's too late for us to turn back! How long has that been here? Sauber Soldat? Isn't this the Leviathan we were told about? No, it's similar, but I think it's a different model. <laughs> Behold! Our secret weapon! An experimental unit developed alongside the Leviathan, but scrapped before seeing the light of day. A fitting ally for soldiers spurned by history like us, wouldn't you say? Where did they even get something like that? I don't know. But if they're not bluffing, its strength might be on par with the Leviathans. Go! Crush them and their homeland, Asmodine! This end can be the spark that ignites the flames of war once more! We won't let you lay a finger on our home! Damn right. We'll take this down and then it's your turn! Think Tin Man over here will beat us? Think again! We've endured far worse these past two years to let something this small ever stop us! Now this one looks worth my while! I won't let you! <laughs> eye for an eye! Let's go! 